Hi, I'm Susan for SusanWinter.net. So I got a great question, and what I really love about this question is I can shoot it from both angles, whether you are in one position or the other. A young gal wrote me, one of my viewers, and said that she met a guy. He's attractive, good-looking, he's kind, he's nice to her, and she doesn't know why she's not feeling it. Of course, her answer was in the body of the rest of the letter because she said, I just broke up with my boyfriend. It was about four months we were together. Then we got back together for two months. Uh, maybe I'm not over him. Okay, we have all had a situation in our lives when somebody's come into our lives and we can recognize that they are a really amazing person. We're attracted to them. We're attracted to their mind. They treat us well. And in theory, they check off everything on our list. But... We don't move on it. Or you could be listening to this from the other position. You've met somebody, you know this is a great partner for you, and they recognize your value. It's not like they don't see what you have, but it's not happening. So these are the times when we start to mess about in our own mind, or worse yet, we ask our friends for their advice, and they don't really know what to give us other than armchair psychology. There are a couple of categories of reasons why it doesn't happen when it should, okay? So here's how it works. Number one, it is bad timing. And I don't mean that like some stupid blanket statement, like, oh, it's just bad timing. When I say bad timing, it means something is unresolved. Partner A, who is not feeling it for partner B, probably is not over their ex, seeing somebody else and they don't have enough information to move forward or move backwards. But for whatever it is, they're not actually open to taking the next step to move on all the fantastic qualities that they really see in partner number B. So partner number B is thinking, this doesn't make sense. What they don't know is that partner A is not revealing, either to them or to themselves, that they still hold a torch for someone or that they are more interested in some other person who's currently on their radar. So it won't happen in that case. Another scenario, and this is one to be considered, it may not happen. Here's the weird thing about chemistry. We've all met people that tick off everything on our list, and theoretically, we should like each other, but something doesn't happen. Now, oftentimes when I've been in that kind of a situation where I'm walking through the motions and it's like, yeah, we, we really look good together. We should do this, but it's not happening. You know, it's not the right mix. I don't know what else to say about it, but you can have all those things where you see somebody who's great and it just doesn't happen. It doesn't feel right. They end up being a friend, if anything. So these are the unexplained reasons that actually are real reasons. So that factor could exist. Here's another factor. You see all the great things in them, but it doesn't happen. And you know that you don't have a plausible reason. So your friends are trying to tell you that you're self-sabotaging. You're beating yourself up thinking, okay, I've got something great in front of me and there's something wrong with me. I remember being in this situation not once, but several times. Okay, and I explored it enough with a few casual dates to realize that the person that I thought was single, from everything they said, it, this was a guy I kept pushing off. I'd see him like once every three or four months. I'd meet him for lunch or for coffee. And I could not figure out what was wrong with me. He was so ardently chasing me and for a relationship and talking about what he wanted in a mate. And I mean, it was so, and he was bright and intelligent and handsome and... I, and I didn't know why I, I was really beating myself up. One day, I don't know what it was, but he happened to mention picking up his daughter at the airport. And I didn't even know he had a daughter. I didn't know he was you know, married at one time. And I asked him what happened to that relationship. And he said, oh, I didn't know. You just don't marry the first person that you sleep with in college. And somehow I had the wisdom. My mind went faster than any other part of me. And it said, so you married now. I don't know where those words came from. They just popped out of my mouth. He said, yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. My hesitation was built on something that was unseen, but my body registered and felt. There might be something not as advanced as this, 
but something that you, if you are person number A, and you are not feeling it for somebody, and you don't know why, like this young girl that wrote me, there might be something in this package that seems so wonderful that you're not aware of yet, that your body and your internal vibes are picking up, but you don't even know it. And so don't beat yourself up and don't sabotage yourself in thinking that you're sabotaging yourself, right? So you're beating yourself up for beating yourself up, but don't do that. So we have a couple of these factors. And then the last category, which is you haven't spent enough time with them. You haven't spent enough time to know them. And that's probably because you're someplace in the not ready, bad timing, but you're a little bit past that point. You're ready to make the shift, but you haven't acclimated yourself. So it's kind of like you're mentally ready to go to the gym, but you haven't put on your sneakers yet. You know, you, you, you mean to. So you're just in that transition state. And this is where it can work out. This is where it's just a matter of getting to know this person and finding a new level of comfort because either you weren't dating or you ended something or you've almost got the final pieces of information that you need to eliminate the other person that was occupying time and space in your head. So I want everybody to remember that um, it is really easy to think there's something wrong with us. Most everybody that writes me thinks they're a mess in dating, and you're not. Most of us are very attuned, but we don't know how to connect the dots to make us make sense to ourselves. There are times you will instinctively not know why you can't move towards somebody, and maybe in time you'll find out. That's a very logical thing. You just don't have the information. It's intuitive. Trust yourself. There are other times you're not going to be ready. There are other times they won't be ready for you. Doesn't mean it can't happen. So there's a logic behind this and humans are very fluid. We have a lot of emotions that move around, but these reasons can sometimes be part of the factors for why something that should connect does not. So just refrain from finding your fault and review these and see which category you might fall into. And from each one of those descriptions that I gave you, you'll be able to make a decision as to how you present this information to the person, or if you're the recipient on the other end, your person B, you will have better questions to ask the person in front of you. So I hope this helps. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Tune into the Susan Winter Show on iTunes. Subscribe to this channel, please. Write me, tell me what you want to hear about. And uh, take a look at the articles on my website, SusanWinter.net. Got a lot of podcasts, interviews, great articles for you. Thanks a lot.